Good morning you guys from Phnom Penh. Another day out here in this beautiful city. We are walking to our first stop this morning, the Genocide Museum. We we're gonna do the Killing Fields, but it's uh, over 30 minutes away from us drive. So that's a little far out and it might be too much to do both stops for the kids. You know, like emotionally, mentally. So we're just gonna do one and then um, to the another market, the French Quarter. Just look around, see some more stuff. But yeah, and then I'll probably, yeah, we'll figure out what's going on. <laughs> see what we can see. We'll take you with us, of course. Okay, so the tickets are $10 with audio guide or $5 without. That's for adults and then kids are $3 or $8 with audio guide. Um, the kids don't want the audio guide, so I just got one and then I'll just relay the information to them because, you know, whatever. Because I know they're not going to pay attention for the extra $5 anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to go around and we'll see what this is about. So the kids ended up wanting the audio guide after they heard the snippets that I was giving them. They're like, okay, yeah, we need to hear it ourselves. So just get the audio guide if you come here. It definitely helps than just walking around and looking. So we're just waiting for them to get it. Then we're going to start over. <laughs> the Genocide Museum is a museum chronicling the Cambodian genocide. Located in Phnom Penh, the site is a former secondary school which was used as Security Prison 21 by the Khmer Rouge regime from 1975 until the fall in 1979. It preserves evidence of a tragic period in Cambodian history with the aim of encouraging visitors to be messengers of peace. S21 served as the central hub of a vast prison system throughout the country and was used throughout the period as a secret facility for detention interrogation, torture, and exter extermination of those deemed political enemies of the regime. Due to a policy of guilt by association, at times whole families were detained at the center. Very few inmates were released out of the prison during the years 1975 and 1979. Only 12 former inmates survived the opening of S21 when Phnom Penh was liberated. Four of them were children. That was super intense, you guys. Like, intense. Now we're going to another market just to check it out. You know, I need to clear my head. That was crazy. So we just went to Circle K, got some drinks and water, and then called a grab. It's a 17 minute walk, and normally we just walk it, but grab is a dollar or something for the tuk tuk. So we're just like, take advantage of the low price. So we're just taking a tuk tuk to the market and then um, I think we're just gonna see the French water because you know um, Cambodia was uh, a French colony before so it still has some other buildings and stuff so just to see that and that's pretty much our day probably just go to one of the malls to come down and relax because like I said heavy we need <laughs> we need something light right now Okay, the next stop is the To Tumpong Market, aka Russian Market. Uh, we're gonna go in and just walk around. Another place if you want to do some shopping, you can get super inexpensive items. So we're gonna see what they have in here. We were passing this place and the kids want smoothies. They want strawberry banana, it's two dollars for mixed fruits, and then a dollar seventy-five, dollar fifty, depending on what you what else you get for smoothies, so that's pretty good. So yeah, there's restaurants, there's clothes, like a, this market is huge, there's a ton of stuff in here. There's fresh uh, fruits, veggies, there's fish, it's an everything market. So. You can spend a couple hours in here just walking around looking, shopping, spending all your money. 
food is are huge, you guys, for $2. That's crazy. And they said it's really good. I think I'm gonna get the mixed fruit smoothie because I want some too. <laughs> All right, so the market was pretty cool. Um, like I said, so much to buy, so much to see. You can eat there and all that. Now we're taking another grab to Aeon Mall because it is so hot. And we're trying to cool down and just walk around. I need to go into Daiso. Um, and they have some other stores in there that I want to check out. I lost one of my earrings. And because we left our bags with Korean Lindsay in Bangkok, because we're going to head back there. I didn't bring any extra stuff so I lost one of my earrings I'm like I need me some earrings but um yeah is it this one okay this is our grab all right so this is the mall it is big of course H&M always has two three floors and it has a two floors here it takes up half the mall <laughs> So we came into Aeon to get lunch and I'm getting this uh, sushi bowl. It's only $4.90. The kids got like, let me see, Color got this big old thing of sushi and that's $5.50. Joel got salmon, that was $5.50. Yeah, these prices are crazy. I'm like, hopefully we do not <laughs> get sick. Oh my God. So this place has so many, so many, so many, <laughs> so many food choices, you guys. So we're just passing and Jarrell, as usual, he sees donut and he's like, I want donut. This was 30 cents, you guys, 30 cents. And then I saw the egg sandwich and I'm like, okay, my dish was smaller. So let me just grab this um, since I'm starving. I was starving. So this will hold me over a dollar 30, you guys, a dollar 30 for an egg sandwich and a mini donut. And that's not even mini. But yeah, look at this. So many choices and it's so inexpensive. It's ridiculous how cheap this place is. Hey guys, it's Kaveta. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are another day in Phnom Penh. The struggle is real. Um, you'll see what I've been doing today in the other video, you know, stuck in Cambodia. <laughs> But for today, so we did two cultural days. Um, I think you could do, you could get away with two days in Phnom Penh and then move to Siam Reap. Today is just a um, chill day. Um, oh, we get food. We're having some breakfast slash lunch at this place. Ooh, luck luck or something is what Khalil got. Look how pretty that is. So we're just in here um, getting some food. Yeah, Khalil's meal was uh, the beef luck luck with rice for $3.95 you guys that's $3.95 and then Joel got um, a burger he's just been eating burgers and I got salmon with cream sauce and that was $7 that was the priciest thing here and look at this all this and $3 and change if you want to get meat with rice and some veggies that's crazy and then we got, I got some coffee the kids got a shake we're not doing too much today like in the terms of like exploring and all that so that's why i'm saying like two days is perfect you could get everything done but then of course you just want to chill um you can just choose another day and then just go slow go to the mall relax the movies or something like that so that's pretty much what we're up to today We 
we're just walking you guys I think we're in like a wholesale section because I passed a, a ton of different um, wholesale type shops it's pretty cool I even saw a hair shop a girl was in there making those uh, lace wigs <laughs> I should have gone in there and see how much see if I can start me a lace, lace wig business right yeah but this is definitely their shopping wholesale section look at this we're like deep in there. I don't know where Jarrell and Google, they're sending me, but I'm following Jarrell's lead. Yeah, this is definitely the local market or something. There is so much going on here, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is so crazy and chaotic, but it is so cool. If we weren't walking to this mall, we wouldn't have stumbled upon here. That's just completely different from any touristic area we would, uh, you know, go in to see. Just look at this place. This is real Phnom Penh, real Cambodia. I love it. Okay, so we made it to the mall. It is so nice in here, so quiet. And it's cool. Outside is so burning hot, you guys, and humid. So I went into Minnesota, you can see I got earrings. <laughs> it was at $5. So I just got earrings and I saw sticky notes, you guys. Oh, the up is around this side. I saw sticky notes, so I bought a pack of sticky notes. And I'm gonna put those suckers in at the last five or six pages of my passport and the kids' passport. At a saying, do not stamp, use another page or whatever. And let's see, you know, how that works. But yeah, the struggle over here is real. We're just killing some time, then go back for our passport photos, and then oh, falling on the escalator. Yeah, and then we'll see what's happening. I have to extend because we're supposed to leave tomorrow, so now I'm gonna have to go back to the hotel and extend for another day or two. Yeah, there is an undersea adventure park up here. Look how cool this is. Tons of games and stuff for the kids. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Daryl played yesterday. He's good for today. We're just gonna keep walking, looking, because it's not like we have that much time anyway. But it's nice. So, so this is the Olympia Mall. Another mall I'm showing you guys that you can take the kids to come and do fun stuff if you need to. I'm relaxing, you guys. I'm doing the massage. It is 5,000, so that's what, a dollar? I mean, a dollar and 10 cents or something for 15 minutes. Oh, this feels so good. So I'm doing a 15 minute, because um, we're just gonna grab back. Instead of walking the 15 minutes, we're lazy. So we're gonna do that. It just adds 49 cents to our grab price to go back to our hotel so we're just gonna do grab with a stop at the <laughs> at the photo place so it's an extra 49 cents i'm like i'll take it i don't want to walk 15 minutes so yeah <laughs> i'm getting this done and then we'll go back what a day always love Southeast Asia you guys and when they give you the cups with these little baggies you don't have to hold the cold cup like yes 